Well, it's safe to say that almost everybody was flabbergasted with last night's outcome. If you folks didn't know what happened, well, to keep it short and straight to the point, Tim Zhu was demolished. And his defeat last night did not only cause a massive drop in his market value and overall stock, it also got many people asking the same question, which was, what the hell did just happen? So with a 7 to 1 odds in favor of Tim Zhu, the fight and overall outcome definitely fits the description of what an upset is. Not only did Tim Zhu lose last night, so did the majority of fans that were tuning in and making bets. After the fight, a lot of fans took it online to express not only their shock and disbelief, but also of how much money they lost. I mean, yeah, it's safe to say that everybody had their money on Tim Zhu. And that is why a lot of people are asking, what happened? Because if you look at the fight, it wasn't even a close loss. Tim Zhu's corner had to throw the towel at round 3 after Tim was looking like a ragdoll who clearly didn't know what was going on. No, some are saying that Tim Zhu took this fight lightly and was too focused on fighting the bigger names, thereby underestimating Mortazalib, an opinion that is agreed upon by most boxing journalists, fans, and even fighters such as Terence Crawford. The thing is, this loss from Tim Zhu wasn't the same and is not even close to how he lost to Sebastian Fundura. That loss that he suffered from Fundura didn't really affect his market value. If you folks can recall, he was still featured and was supposed to fight against Virgil Ortiz back in August as part of the Crawford vs Madrimov event, but eventually had to pull out due to the injuries that he suffered from Fundura. However, with his second consecutive loss and with this one being a full-on exclamation point, Tim Zhu's career may have hit a wall. I mean, sure, without a doubt, fighters can definitely bounce back from a loss. I mean, we've seen it in the past. But that's the thing though, that was before when bouncing back from a loss and redeeming yourself was the story arc that meant a lot more to people. Now, it's a completely different era. And you know, it's not even just that. Promoters are not willing to market somebody who in the eyes of the public is, well, for the lack of better term, a loser. It's also worth arguing about that maybe, just maybe, Tim Zhu wasn't even that good to begin with. But then again, that's another conversation. Again, this loss not only plummeted Tim Zhu's market value, this also puts him in a position wherein he may have to start all over again. In a way, he may have to engage and participate in a few low-paying fights in which he must dominate and build himself once again in order to be in the same conversation as Virgil Ortiz, Terence Crawford, and other big names at 154. What about you? What are your thoughts about last night's fight? Were you shocked or, you know, did you make money or did you lose money? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and as always, please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more quick talks.